Hey friends, welcome to our vlog this week, number five, Hops World. It's Max Raphael, if you don't already know from our channel. And we are going to, first thing, check on our hop seeds that have been in here vernalizing, germinating, waiting to be germinated actually. They've been in here for about six weeks and they're pretty much ready to come out. We're gonna wait another week or so. But last year we only did six weeks. I thought of waiting a little longer, but something I wanna show you, we did check out every container and they are all humid inside, which is what we check for. But we also check for what is called fungus. Now, if you didn't see our tip on how to germinate hop seeds, you can check it out. And it explains the need for thorough sterilization. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Thorough sterilization before we put these seeds in here. Imagine they've been in here six weeks and in the fridge in a moist environment, that's a damp paper towel that they're in. It's very easy to create fungus. Imagine an orange or some kind of fruit. So this is a cross of Triumph, which was a USDA newer variety, public variety, crossed with USDA Mail 19058, our Superboy. And here's the seeds. And if we look at the bottom of the container, we can see the seeds. There's only about six or seven here. And they all look like seeds in a paper towel. Now I'm gonna show you another one. This is Alpha Roma. Interesting, that's a triploid, which typically is seedless, but we did get a few seeds from our Alpha Roma. The plant was a monster this year. And that's also crossed with the USDA 19058. And we look on the bottom, we can see all the seeds. There's probably about, again, seven or eight, but we can see at least two dark black spots. That's fungus, folks. So them seeds are pretty much dead. They're not gonna grow. And that's what we wanna avoid. And that's why it's so important if you watch our video and our tip on how to germinate hop seeds, it's so important to sterilize, clean, sterilize again, and clean some more. But I'm real happy. There's not too much fungus in the seeds. It's nothing you can really avoid 100%. So we're gonna let these babies sleep for another week or so, and we'll come back to them. Let's check on the Triumph Twins. So I ended up putting another string on this Triumph. I'm gonna raise this plant up to be more vertical and put another string here and do a thorough cleaning down below. Uh, there were some ugly leaves and I thinned them out and I'm still gonna thin them out some more to let some airflow in here. Uh, when it gets so crowded like this, it's really a prime area for spider mites, any kind of other bugs that might screw us over. Excuse the French. But right, let's let this baby breathe down here. Next week I'll give you a good picture of this week. The stems, which you'll be able to see better now that I cleared some of these lower leaves off. I really should get a fan on these too. Airflow is really important. Although the little heater I have over on the shelf is blowing, so I can feel the air. Not that bad. Some of these leaves down in here are just way overgrown. Besides, sunlight doesn't penetrate every leaf. Not that that's a bad thing for the sprouts, but you've got plenty of sprouts growing. So we'll do a good cleaning down the bottom here too. I clean off the leaf litter and any ugly leaves I think we're pretty good 
We'll let these grow up a little higher and then we'll really clean the bottoms. Almost bare. Uh, once these new sprouts really start shooting up, and on this one too, there's a lot of sprouts from four to 12 or 18 inches. And once they get up uh, about two foot, I'll clean the bottoms of these plants and leave them totally bare, just like we do outside. The cones are only gonna grow on the upper part of the plants anyway. Okay, well, there we go, looking better. I added a string to each of the Triumph Twins and I made the strings all go up a lot closer to the light. So we have the one string for the Zeus here and then the Triumph T1. I added a string here with some new shoots. What I did was I wanna check and I'll check on that every couple days. I put the date on the highest shoot here, February 10th, today. And then over here on T2, I'm gonna show you how thick the stems are. These are three-year-old plants that have never left this aeroponic. They've been in here from a shoot that I received from the USDA three years ago. So the second one, I actually added this second string that's about three feet tall this one i measured is 25 inches so from the base of the aeroponic the main stem here on t2 is four feet t1 also this uh zeus is about four feet also but we're gonna check on these Watch them grow. I was thinking we may have to lower them down to the ground because they're about two feet off the ground to even get more height out of them. We still have a ways to go where we can raise them all the way up to the ceiling. We'll raise the light as we go. These are the Triumph Twins, folks. Looking good. Well, I thought I'd pay a visit to the male hop yard. You see our stick there, the remains of last year's plant, but look here, oh my gosh. The plow came and plowed all this snow. Believe it or not, our Neo-Mexican male Rocky is somewhere there. Over here, there's some more snow plowed. Looks like our macho USDA 19058 is under the snow there somewhere. Not so bad, but wow, that Rocky, let's keep our fingers crossed. Just let it snow, let it snow, but bring on spring. I want to see these plants grow up this string again. Another 20 feet. Back over to the female yard. Check out our girls. Well. Our female hop yard is frozen salad, folks. It is cold as cold for days now. The snow it snowed again this week, actually. Third time in a, about eight, nine days. And it's pretty much frozen salad. I could almost walk on this. There's about a good eight or ten inches on the ground here. But the hops, hopefully, are snuggling underneath nice and warm. Ah, enough of this. Ah, back inside. Well, yep, ice. This is my water I've been collecting when the snow was actually melting. Now it turned to rock solid ice, but it is pure rainwater. So this is what we save. We're gonna thaw it down. In a day or so, it's gonna be room temperature. But hey, we're back inside. Something I really wanna show you, it's really cool, our Triumph Twins. What I did a few days ago was I marked one of the shortest stalks that's going up the string. 
I'm gonna show you the results in three days. Wow, just in 10 hours, and then three days later today. Check it out. Well, a quick check-in on the Triumph Twins and our Zeus. Uh, what we did here, I wanted to show you, was clean all the little leaves and there was tons of new sprouts down here at the bottom. Check out the base of that bad boy. Three years old, never left this aeroponic. But we did this hopefully to make the energy of the plant grow upward instead of keep growing outward at the base. We did the same thing with our Zeus. I left the T1 Triumph pretty much alone, although we did air it out last week a little, but I want to take some cuttings this week. Some of these new sprouts that are coming up before I clean it up and also look at the difference in the two plants to see if there seems there's any difference. But regardless, we're gonna take some of these new sprouts and set up another aeroponic setup, brand new, and show you how when we're gonna make some new cuttings. We're gonna do a wall of triumph this year outside with plants horizontal and only about six feet tall. But our plant, uh, is growing here. I wanted to show you this. I ended up putting the tag on February 10th. This is the third sprout here that's already made it up to February 10th. The original passed February 13th and now is about two inches higher. And the actually second one is about the same. So you can see in three days, it was about six inches. We're about eight inches in four days. This thing's really kicking. We did add water and newts again. It's really sucking up a lot of water. It sounds like it's low already. So we might have to add newts and water every two days because there's a lot of biomass here, a lot of respiration and plant growth. Check them out. They're getting well, we're probably over six feet. So we're gonna have to raise this lamp shortly and most likely we're gonna have to lower the aeroponic onto the ground. I'll let you see, we have still about two and a half feet sitting on the base down the bottom. So maybe within a week or so, we're gonna have to lower this bad boy. So there they are, the Triumph Twins kicking butt. Now off to the dungeon, check on last week's plant, show you what we have to do for training. One that we actually trained on the small trellis. Peace out. Now this plant here, we put in here about a week ago and we trained. And I wanna show you what you're going to have to do every few days, every three or four days, maximum a week but uh, you should be checking your plants every day. As you can see, we put this in here a week ago and the sprout, the main largest one that came up here, it actually wrapped right here around the bamboo. So we don't want that to go up. We need that to go diagonal it's going up, but a lot more slowly, slowly along the string. So simply we unwrap it from here and wrap it around the string. And then it's gonna grow a little more and we'll help it around the corner and it'll wanna come up this bamboo. And if we have to, we'll unwrap it and wrap it around the string and let it work its way up all 17 feet of our mini trellis. So we'll show you how to do that. So, as we can see here, the plant is has three wraps around the bamboo in four or five days. It was over here and now it's going upward. We need it to go along the twine. So, simply, we're going to unwrap it very gently and rewrap it around the twine. 
Ta da! Yeah, and she's gonna keep trying to turn. May make it up to this bamboo, but we'll probably do the same thing and go up this bamboo. And we need to just train it to keep it going. We need to check back on the other tip. It's right here. It's not going anywhere yet, but it will start kicking. We just transplanted this. And any other tips as they come up, they're gonna wanna jump up these bamboos. So we need to keep training these every two or three days. We're gonna water these plants and look at them every day, so it's no big deal. This thing will go up to 15 feet, believe it or not. Hey, quick preview. A little dark yet, but this is our grow room too. We're going to start setting up shortly because our seeds are gonna be ready to germinate in less than two weeks, so you better get cracking. Wait till you see these seeds pop. It's gonna be cool. Can't wait. Hey friends, I thought I would end the vlog this week with a cool video of our grow room with our grow lights and our plants. Thanks for being with us. I really enjoyed it. And make sure you check in next week for our next vlog. If you liked, put a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Hops World. Cheers to life.